Time now for Inside Out as we're joined by SNY NBA insider Ian Begley from Madison Square Garden. And Ian, it isn't often that we say the Knicks played poorly defensively under Tom Thibodeau, but how did Toronto pick the Knicks apart in that third quarter to outscore New York by 16 points? Six turnovers in the third was a killer, Eamon. I mean, that this team turned the ball over a lot after the first quarter, but those six in the third really crushed them. Toronto came out aggressively after halftime. I think the Knicks were missing a little depth with Taj Gibson hurt, but really it was being sloppy with the ball, and it was Toronto taking advantage. They took nine more shots than the Knicks in that third quarter, and they seemed to knock every one of them down. They were red hot, uh, but really the sloppiness with the ball started the Knicks' downfall to me. Uh, it was the Knicks who were red hot in the first quarter. Julius Randle finished the opening quarter with 18 points, then only had four the rest of the way. Uh, why did he cool down so much in this one? It was interesting because Tom Thibodeau said afterward that the Knicks didn't do a good job of taking advantage when the Raptors sent two defenders at Randall. He said they did so in the first quarter. They were finding open shots based on the attention paid to Randall, but they didn't do it in the second, third, and fourth quarters. And, you know, he wasn't directly criticizing Randall, but he was basically saying, when they send two to you, good things should happen. And that stopped happening after the first quarter. But then when Randall talked about it, he said, hey, it was just the flow of the game. So a little bit of a disparity in maybe how it was seen between Randall and Thibodeau. But nonetheless, the Raptors uh, took Randall out of the game and they took things into their own hands after that first quarter. All right, now you mentioned earlier that Taj Gibson was unable to finish this game. Nerlens no Noel didn't play Monday after being called a game-time decision. Now Gibson is banged up, so how much of a question mark is the Knicks' depth at the five? Significant. I mean, you saw Jericho Sims, their late second-round pick, uh, playing minutes tonight because of the Tosh Gibson injury. And the Knicks already have Mitchell Robinson as their starting center, someone who's still kind of playing his way into shape after missing seven months uh, in the offseason and late last season. And now Gibson's banged up. So you really need Nerlens Noel back at this point. The injury has been uh, a mysterious one. He's missed all the regular season games, all the preseason games, because of what the Knicks are calling knee soreness. It seems like he aggravated something somewhere along the way here because he was close to returning at one point, and now the Knicks haven't seen him on the floor yet, but certainly they will hope to get him back as soon as possible with the depth at center challenged. And as soon as possible would be Wednesday when the Knicks look to bounce back on the road against the Pacers. Ian Begley, thanks for joining us from MSG.